Hello Indie Game fans! August saw more significant updates to some of my favourite indie games, most of which were free, so a great time to jump back in, beginning with Dead Cells Barrel of Fun update. This game has become an absolute behemoth of a roguelike platformer, garnering a massive community which is well deserved since it feels so great to play. With this adds a new biome known as the Derelict Distillery, with new enemies, weapons and a ton of explosions. After experimenting with paid DLC with The Bad Seed, this update thankfully is free, so even more reasons to keep playing this awesome title. Three, two. One, let's burn some rubber! The time management game Cook Serve Delicious 3 has done well in early access, with it barreling towards a 1.0 release next month. 8 devastating attack in the combat tunnel. However, it did put out the Iron Cook Speedway update, which has you preparing the oh so delicious looking food as your food truck races around a speedway. Whoa, this really is the best cooking I've seen. This sure has gotten some weird places for a cooking game, which I do appreciate. So with the 1.0 release around the corner, certainly check this one out. Victorious! Rhythm Fighter made my best indie games video in me for good reason, since this is a side-on action roguelite with a rhythm element that is all sorts of awesome. And they put out a new character in Korea Pengu and remains one of the best games out this year. No fancy patch video for this, but West of Loading just had its third anniversary, which patched it to V1.11.11.11.11.1 adding a splash of new content, and since this made my top 10 best games of 2017, give this one a go if you have not. The stylish action-adventure game Resolution impressed with the visuals and gameplay, with the Raid Plains update adding more combat-heavy content en route to the finale. There are new enemies, boss improvements, new music, and interestingly enough, a secret cow level as well. So color me intrigued. An interesting third-person action roguelite is Arborea, adding some great looking action for a genre that's known for the 2D look. With the Queen's Fall update, adding a new weapon in the Hellbird, a new mutation in the Chakram, new mechanics like quick travel, and one that prevents you from one-shotting tougher enemies. New enemies, and of course, a new boss named the Bugs Queen as per the title. Let me tell you about the South and its blazing deserts. The poor toil and cower under their master's lashes while the rich bask in pleasures. But they've got cities of marble and gold, and the science of their wise men create inventions we've never seen the likes of. Their huge armies march, wielding strange weapons that blast like thunder. Having just covered this in the best turn-based tactics games video, the latest expansion for the mercenary company simulator Battle Brothers is named Blazing Deserts, which has you exploring, 
you guessed it, the burning deserts of the south, a significant departure from the vaguely medieval European setting of the original. Seems like quite a hefty expansion with a ton of stuff, and people seem to be real happy with it. In the south, they'll call you crowning, but it's all the same in the end. They have gold and problems, but you have greed and steel. But do you think that will be enough to survive the blazing deserts? The wacky Deer Simulator got a free patch titled Tay Future, adding futuristic elements and coincidentally was a common typo of the that I had when I was younger. Subnautica Below Zero is still chugging along in early access, with Stranger Pings following up from the Salad Days update in June. Obviously, this is a reference to Stranger Things, adding more story content and environmental storytelling, as well as more base decorations, improved graphical polish, reduced technical bugs, and improved creature AI as well. The Wonderful A Short Hike is a very pleasant exploration game released in 2019, and together with the Switch release announced during the Nintendo Indie World Showcase, it put out the Boating Update, which, surprise surprise, allows you to steer a boat around the waters. very pleasant and worth replaying, especially in this hellscape of a year. The Japanese search action title, aka a Metroidvania, Gensokyo Night Festival has been great in early access, only lacking additional content, so here you go with the stage 2 update. adds a new area with new enemies, bosses, abilities and secrets, and is shaping up to be an excellent title in the genre. Nothing prepares you for the world's end. No one can teach you how to live after one. One thing is certain. Once the world falls apart, whatever's left of it, whoever survives, turns against you sooner or later. Little bit of a controversial one since Frostpunk on the Edge is the final expansion for the popular survival city builder, adding new mechanics like other settlements to interact with, a new relations system, new building technologies and so on. However, it has been criticised for feeling rushed and unfinished, so a little bit of a mark on the legacy of a great game. The interesting steampunk action title, Butlow's Dread Machine, just released in July with its first update to see. 
releasing in August. It adds the fourth wall, a new character, new equipment and enemies, so neat little game to check out. One underrated Metroidvania title of 2019 is 3000th Duo, which was perhaps overlooked since it released in the middle of December, but they put out the free DLC in The Wise Ones, adding new biomes, new equipment, and even a new game plus mode, and is a title which I recommend. Genesis Alpha 1 is a roguelike first-person shooter which did have a strange launch since it was first on Epic and I personally have not seen much coverage of it since. But Ship Assault added in boarding enemy ships, the ability to pass judgement on pirate captains, crew promotion and space travel, and is another underrated game that more people should check out. I love the weird 90s internet simulator Hypnospace Outlaw, and together with the console release, put out Hypnospace Plus as well. Professor Halper here, ready to help! Adding more than 60 new pages to find, new music, new customization options, new in-game games and apps and more, so for giving us more free weird goodness, this gets a spot. Important message received. One of the most pleasant and heartwarming patches last month was Children of Morta Paws and Claws, one which added a whole new animal shelter system to the game with 100% of the proceeds going to charity and has already raised at least 50,000 USD, so good on the developers taking the number one spot. If you are here, you are probably looking for some new information about Children of Morta, and by now you have probably noticed that this update is going to be pretty special. If you need to know one thing about us here at 11bit or Dead Mage, is that we are pretty crazy about our animals. And not only our animals, no matter if they are domesticated or wild. And since Children of Morda is about family, we have decided to grow that family stronger. And you don't have to be a human being to join that family. You can have fur or a pair of wings right under, or you can have claws or paws or you name it. That's why with the new DLC, we are introducing an animal shelter where you can help a bunch of animals from the universe of Morda. Those animals will aid you in your fight with the corruption. It's a great addition to the game as we believe. But this is not why we are doing that actually. We are doing that to help animals. Not the virtual ones, but the real ones. The deal is simple. The DLC costs $3.99. And for that price, you get an instant access to the brand new in-game content. But what's more, all the earnings from that particular DLC go to the Humane Society International Charity Organization, an organization that helps and protects animals both wild and domesticated. You can learn more about their doings and their work at their website. So just to summarize, buy the DLC, enjoy brand new content, and join our cause to help those animals with us. Thank you. To see more of the big picture, check out these awesome videos and I will see you after the jump.